In today's video I search the beach for Jurassic fossils, I go looking for dinosaur footprints and then I crack open some ammonite bearing rocks. Hi everyone, I've come for an early fossil hunting trip to Salt Whit Bay today, the beach just next to Whitby. It's quite an overpicked beach but I have found some really good stuff here, ranging from a fossil lepidotes fish and an ichthyosaur tail. So let's head on down the beach and see if we can find anything good what's fallen out of the cliff. A nice coprolite in my hand what I've just picked up from a probably an ichthyosaur or some type of marine creature. I've got a box where I just put them all in. I'm getting quite a nice collection of them. A bit more sunlight coming up now. There's the nab that you can probably make out all the way over there. Then you follow that little bay along there and you get to Whitby after a very long walk. There was already a collector in front of us, so we're pretty much just looking along to see if he's missed anything. I did just pick this nodule up here, and you can see a keel poking out there where my finger is. The trouble with the salt wick nodules is they're quite pyritic, so they either don't split well or they're quite difficult to prep. That's the only trouble with them really. Quite a pyritic, eroded dactyloceros nodule with an ammonite inside, heavily golden pyritic colour. Not something that I'm going to be collecting, so it will be one that I'm going to leave here. A little grey sile just peeking out there of this rock. Quite often you get a little bit lucky and find a bit of a hot spot for ammonites if there's two washed up in the same little area. A lovely pyritized golden I'm an eye. got no middle, but really nice outer whirl. Eventually the sun came up, so I could switch my head torch off and get looking for some more Jurassic fossils. The cliffs are falling all the time, so it's best to let the sea do the work for you and wash them out, so search the tide line. If you'd like to purchase your own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've listed a bunch of really nice ammonites and rare bits of bone up for sale. Please go ahead and take a look if you are interested. A lot of the beaches around the Whitby area have shipwrecks washed up on them. This one was from 1976. You'll find it at Saltwick Bay and you can visit it when the tide is fully out. Right of the steps. I've got quite a few nice looking ammonites to crack open that are in my bag. I'll crack them open when I get round the Whitby side. That's if the tide allows me round there today. While I'm over this way at Saltwick, I might as well show you some dinosaur footprints. The dinosaur footprints on the Yorkshire coast are found in the sandstone blocks near the top of the cliffs. They were laid down by large floodplains where the dinosaurs were migrating across. So these footprints are roughly 190 million years old. I think they've been down for a very long time, probably 10 years or if not more. They're quite worn, but let's go ahead and look and see if we can find them. So here the big dinosaur slab is. Unfortunately, it does look like someone's been chiseling it away, which isn't very good. It's been down for about 10 years and it is a bit of a shame. But there's the uh, three toes, one, two, three. When dinosaur footprints are in slabs of this size, they are best just left on the beach. I'm going to go ahead and show you a better one, which is over this way. I'm definitely not taking the credit for these. These were shown to me when I first started collecting, probably about four years ago. I have collected a few nice footprints of my own, which have been in really small blocks. If you are interested in seeing these, please let me know in the comments and I'll do a video in the future. So here is the better dinosaur footprint in this big, large sandstone boulder. 
which is sat in a rock pool. It's in the very centre, the middle toe and the right hand toe. Again this has been quite C1 now but hopefully you can make out the shape of the footprint. I'd imagine it's from a theropod footprint, although I'm not very keyed up on my dinosaurs. I just thought that was something a little bit different to show you, rather than the usual ammonites. So, I'm over towards the Whitby side now. The pier is over there, sand's end in the very distance, and then Kettle Ness right round at the back over there. So I've brought along some quite good looking ammonites with nice cracks running along the keel. So I'm going to get my chisel in and see if they'll pop open. I brought them from other hunts and I'm going to open them today. Let's go take a look. I specially selected these from my pile of ammonite nodules just because these ones look like they've got the biggest probability of a good split. It really is a privilege to be able to crack open these 180 million year old ammonites on the beach. This is easily my favourite opening of the day. The negative does crack open and splits off, which I'll glue back. However, the positive of the ammonite is absolutely perfect. A quick wash off in a rock pool and it reveals the beautiful detail and lovely colours of the ammonite. This ammonite opened all the way to the very middle with a beautiful pinpoint centre. If you have enjoyed this fossil hunting video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more fossil hunting videos on the Yorkshire coast. I have just got a large batch of ammonites which I found on the coast near Whitby, cut and polished. These were all specimens that would have been very difficult to prepare using an air pen, but cutting and polishing them shows the stunning calcite crystals and pyrite within the ammonite chambers. They are all 180 million years old and dactyliosaurus species. They make great gifts and display specimens. If you are interested in buying one of your own beautiful but very affordable fossils, I will be listing them to the website, so please take a look. I'll ship it worldwide. Thanks for watching.